And swapping the pencils for a computer. Test takers are prepping for the newest version of the SAT next month, and that test is going digital. 13 Action News reporter Brenna and I joining us live now to tell us about these upcoming changes. Brenna. Yeah, Claire, aside from the test going digital, some of the other big changes are the testing time being cut down and the type of questions. No need to sharpen a pencil to take the SAT. Students just need to go online. I don't think there's really any difference in terms of the content, in terms of what they're supposed to know. But there is a lot of uh, change and a lot of difference in how it's administered. One of the biggest changes is the time given to take the test, going from three hours to just over two. But shorter which will be significantly less stressful for students, and that's a positive aspect. It's also adaptive, and uh, you can get the same excellent results with a shorter, faster, quicker, adaptive test than you can with a lengthy paper and pencil test. So what that means is that if you do really, really well on the first part, the first section of the reading and writing, then the next reading and writing section will be all hard questions. Right, And if you do really poorly, then it'll be all easy questions. And same with math. So the second section of each subject is based on how you did in the first section of that subject. Joseph Skousen is the, the director why... of Sylvan Learning's Bowling Green location. He says the change helps to make the test more personal to the students. The SAT values the, the learning process, right? And so what they're saying is if you can do harder content, then we want to give you the opportunity to do that. Um, and so the score, the score like really kind of means something in a way that it didn't before because you know that the content is content that you are comfortable with. It's at your level. Um, and it's not just you took the test that everyone else took. Although the SAT is not a requirement to attend most colleges and universities, it still could have a positive effect on admission to one. But it is one way of providing additional information, not just to enter into school, but to help a student succeed. Because the idea is not just to admit them into a college, but to help them graduate and succeed in college and succeed in life. The digital SAT will be given to students starting in March.